Wow. Go this way. I know. Oh, oh, I want to go there. That's I've always wanted to yeah. stop by there. We got time. Can we? Okay. We have, so it was called Pink House long ago, anyway, because uh, the stone it was made right. of turned pink. And then but then they've con they've consistently kept it a pink That's house. Nice. It was a tavern for everybody that came portside. It was built within the walls, the original walls. I don't know, I know how often they, you know, they sell all the things that are prints and it goes up one more level, okay, for being as tiny and... I don't actually know the Japanese. This is where I said at some point in time, from the outside, they have a picture of somebody up in one of these windows looking, looking down, out. but they can't account for anybody being in the house. Wow. Oh, it's part that. of their, their ghost story. -in. I've been in a few times before tonight, and they've got, just to the gills, packed with every sort of artwork. And it, at one time, I believe, was also a brothel. This house has been here on the cobblestones forever. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, art is a jealous mistress, and if a man have a genius for painting, poetry, music, architecture, or philosophy, he makes a bad husband and an ill provider, and should be wise in season and not fetter himself with duties which will embitter his day. Well, art may be a jealous mistress, but at least it doesn't squirt crazy glue in the door locks of your car and send you 50 threatening texts in an hour, which is what happened to this guy I used to work with. Some artists like sketching fruit in a bowl. Other artists enjoy sketching beautiful models in provocative attire. The latter kind of artist goes to Dr. Sketchy's anti-art school. Dr. Sketchy's is not your mother's drawing class, as it is definitely more unique and quite a bit more titillating than your run-of-the-mill figure drawing class. The Charleston branch of Dr. Sketchy's was opened by Olivia Poole in 2011 and features models that one might classify as more alternative than your typical figure models, including roller derby girls, pinup models, and burlesque performers. On July 17th, the latest group of sketchers gathered at the Speakeasy, an impossibly cool Prohibition-era watering hole located above Club Light on East Bay Street in downtown Charleston. Participants in Dr. Sketchy's not only soaked in the retro chic atmosphere of the upscale establishment, imbibed unique libations and selected from an extensive beer list, but also had the opportunity to hone their drawing techniques by sketching lovely models in exotic clothing and in various states of undress. Risque rewards were provided to the artists who produced the best sketch. Model Queen April kept the audience wrapped with her artless demeanor and witty banter while a DJ kept heart rates up by providing upbeat musical accompaniment. Mary White's engaging exhibit Working South is now on display at the Gibbs Museum of Art through September. She's a renowned Charleston watercolorist, who captures with exquisite detail and sensitivity the essence of vanishing blue-collar professions in the South. And Brooke Schreier and I had a chance to speak with her. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Hi. I'm Mary White. Hi. Hi. Mary White. I'm Mariah. Do so you live here now? I do. I've been down yeah. for a couple of years. Yeah. When, how long have you been in Charleston? Maybe 20 years. I'm actually from the Midwest, Ohio. Yeah, me too. Are you? Really? Weird. My mom's in Cleveland Heights. I, I live in Hinkley, Ohio. I live in Chagrin Falls. Oh, wow. Yeah, My, yeah, like, buzzards. Yeah. <gasps> Nobody should know what Hinkley is. That makes sense. Oh, fun. we know the buzzard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's buzzard day, and I try to honor it even down here. Yeah. Hinkley's so tiny, you shouldn't know that. And my that's dad's funny. in, like, Wadsworth, Savilla, yeah. kind of. But yeah. That's my work's in the gallery here, and it's gonna make the you Gibbs We're going to make you show it to us on our way. I've never been here, though. I didn't know it was. We just came this back. This looks beautiful. This looks How long have you been right here in this location? We've been here 10 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's a the house is one of the oldest in Charleston, and it was a lot of artists have lived there and worked there over the years. Unbelievable! This is fake. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The back kind of looks like Isn't it fun? these trees. I said always yeah. make they, they feel English or like yeah. an England yeah. sort of yeah. scene. And, well, these are Italian cypress, and this is a wonderful apricot tree. And now is that a home next to you? Somebody live there? Yes. This, okay. this is the actually um, the dependency building to the main. Building. I want to go over to the City Gallery at Waterfront Park. It's right on the harbor at 34 Prelude Street. I think that's how we say it. The whole concept is pretty innovative and I don't know how many cities themselves own and operate a gallery, but we do. I'd say that the focus is on broadening the Charleston art outlook and it's all about housing a contemporary visual arts center, exhibiting work local, regional, and national. International artists in a place where it's honestly too beautiful. I don't know who else could afford that kind of space. It's absolutely amazing. They have about eight exhibitions a year in the City Gallery, and the space is used for some other really cool events. I think they have yoga classes there every week. All occasions, parties, and events by AAA Rentals is a company that is growing, changing, expanding, and becoming bigger and better than ever. You may know that they've been in business since 1961, so why now? because Charleston and the surrounding low country knows how to party and celebrate like nowhere else. Our area is one of the leading destinations for weddings in the nation. And think of all the many festivals, big expositions, corporate conferences, and galas there are. This is a hip happening place. And to prepare the perfect get together or event, Folks need help planning and coordinating each of the many details. With so many aspects to consider, budgets to stick to, and so much to do, businesses, organizations, and families have come to depend on the party professionals at all occasions. From tables, chairs, tents, and servingware, of course they have all the basics affordably priced. But Denise Bartow and her staff have built their business by having all the little amazing touches, the decorations, the glitz, the sizzle, and the ability to make just the right recommendations to make a party something all the guests want to be a part of. Weddings are a big thing, to be sure, and who better to trust than all occasions? For 50 years, thousands and thousands of Lowcountry wedding days have been made picture-perfect by these knowledgeable professionals. Parties and Events by AAA Rentals is the area's premier provider and purveyor of party goods, supplies, and equipment. Their selection is the finest, the pricing is always affordable, and their experience sets them apart. It's time for a trip to 3555 Meeting Street Road to see the showroom. It's chock full of terrific ideas and great equipment to rent. And if there's a wedding in your family's future, you owe it to yourself to start with the oldest and first name in dependable rentals, sales, and service. All occasions, parties and events by AAA Rentals. Because all occasions in your life deserve the professional touch.